The Maserati Levante Trofeo stands apart from the Levante I experienced approximately two or three years ago. This vehicle is distinctly different, featuring a unique engine sound and a distinct driving pleasure. The heart of the Maserati Levante is the V8 engine, gentlemen, and now let's embark on our journey to explore this remarkable experience. Back in 2011, Maserati introduced a prototype named Maserati Q-Bank, double check the name, marking its inaugural venture into the SUV realm. This test version served as the pioneering SUV for Maserati. Fast forward to the 2016 Geneva Motor Show, where Maserati officially announced to customers that the SUV was now available for ordering. Maserati offered six cylinder engines well suited for everyday use, yet lacking in the exhilarating sense of power or standout features, to be frank. In 2018, Maserati acquired an eight-cylinder engine produced in Ferrari's Maranello factories. This gentleman is the engine that truly captured my admiration for this car. Examining the car's exterior design, it is undeniably distinctive, but can it be deemed revolutionary, imaginative, or futuristic? The answer leans towards no especially when scrutinizing the rear view. While the beautiful and streamlined design is evident, it falls short of attaining perfection. However, my affection for the Maserati car stems from its remarkable engine, a feature available from 2018 to the present day. The engine comes in two versions, the 550 HP GTS version and the 590 HP Trofeo version, the latter being the one in our possession. As this episode unfolds, we'll delve into more details about the car's engine, a noteworthy aspect I chose to kick off our conversation, given its distinctiveness and the reason behind my admiration. Let's delve into the specifications of the Maserati Levante Trofeo version. What sets this version apart is the unique front grille, boasting a glossy black finish and larger cooling vents. Notably, carbon fiber embellishments adorn the side edges and front bumper cooling vents, adding a touch of elegance and distinctiveness to the front of this version that surpasses the beauty of other Maserati car models. The car has been equipped with LED headlights featuring matrix technology incorporating 15 LEDs. Renowned for their energy efficiency, these lights are 200% clearer than halogen counterparts, enhancing visibility and illumination. Let's pause for a moment and indulge in the captivating sound of the car's engine. our focus to the interior of Maserati cars, specifically the Maserati Levante, more precisely the Trofeo version we currently possess, renowned as the most potent, premium and priciest iteration of the car. However, upon inspecting the car's interior, particularly the steering wheel, it exhibits a rather ordinary design. The simplicity of its design, coupled with the rather basic buttons, fails to evoke a sense of high quality craftsmanship. A desire lingers for the car's steering wheel to boast Alcantara covering or a carbon fiber finish. Imagining features such as a Ferrari-like start button, distinct driving or shifting modes and additional enhancements, perhaps even a touch of luxury with red embroidery could elevate the driving experience. This would particularly distinguish the Trofeo version from the GTS version 
despite their shared engine, with the GTS being marginally less powerful, akin to the six-cylinder variants on the Levante and Levante S. Now, let's delve into the intricate details of the car's V8 engine. As mentioned earlier, the engine, sourced from Ferrari, is a 3.9-liter V8, employing the bi-turbo or twin-turbo configuration. In the context of an eight-cylinder engine, the twin-turbo setup signifies that each set of four cylinders is individually equipped with its own turbocharger. This is in contrast to the bi-turbo technology, where the first set of four cylinders is paired with one turbo, and the remaining four cylinders are matched with a second turbo. Impressively, the car boasts a formidable power output of 590 horsepower, coupled with a substantial torque of 730 Nimitzen. The car accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers in a mere 3.9 seconds. Maintaining efficiency, the car boasts an average fuel consumption rate of 10 and a half liters of petrol per 100 km. Till I got it, I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do 